Where you at? In the back. What's going on, Jay? <sighs> What's up, SK? It's been a long time. Huh? Put your hands up, Dre. Foot. Gun down for now, it says. Long time no speak, huh? Long time. Definitely long time. Hmm. Not a cobble, not a you know, not 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 anything on your end, really. Gonna speak up, escape. Not any sort of contact on your end, really, was it? Last conversation that you and me had was the text messages that were on the phone when you gave me my keys. And then we were meant to have a conversation after that. As you said, talk soon. So I waited and waited. Still nothing. I waited a long time, <laughs> but I understood why it took so long. But I did reach out to try and talk with you, and got nothing. But I kind of understand why. Is that before or after it? you let me get shot at the end of the pier? I was after. Hmm. Because it was radio silence before that. Considering you're one of the main people that put me in that situation and you didn't have shit to say. Yeah, I didn't have shit to say. I think I've come to the conclusion and the understanding about the fuck up that I did. I never wanted you to get hurt. I never wanted anybody to get hurt. I didn't want Terry to get hurt. But at the end of the day, I'm my own man's. Could I go back to that day and change what happened? Every day. I never have regrets in my life. But this is one of those times that I'll have to live with this regret. It's embedded in me now for the rest of my life. And I've come to the conclusion that mm -hmm. I was in a denial state for a long time. And I knew what I did, but I was in denial for the longest. But I now I've grown and can accept what the fuck I did. And I fucked up. I got you hurt. And I'm sorry. You don't have to accept the apology. I don't uh, apologize really to anybody. But after that day, <laughs> you got hurt. A lot of me died inside because of what happened. I didn't just hurt you. I didn't just hurt Terry. I hurt myself. I burnt the bridges of everything that I built. The business that I made with Eli. I did a lot. And I fucked it all up. And I've come to realize now that nothing will ever change that. But like I said, I've tried to make amends with people. A lot of people <coughs> were fine with me uh, making that amends. A lot of people weren't. You were one of them. Steve was one of them. And I understand why. I don't blame you. At the end of the day, SKI be the one to do the same thing. You giving me the treatment that I, you know what I'm saying? That I deserve. You and know, Terry uh, pulled the trigger, right? Yeah. Terry shot me. And he ain't ever gonna live that down. And I'll always remember that. 
But everything Terry did to me and everything that Terry did to the manor, he wore it. The boys had to go through your phone to get answers from you. You're a snake. And beyond that, you're a man that was drunk. Drunk in love, maybe. You know, you came to me the first time around where Terry got kicked from the manor and you said, listen, let me take him under my wing. Anything that he does is my responsibility, right? That's what you said to me. I did. And then the more and more he became your responsibility, the less you had your own personality. You just became a shadow. Dre was gone and you were just whatever Terry wanted to hear. Brainwashed, hollow, wasted. You were valuable once upon a time to this group. When you were first around and you had your shit going around with, the, with Eli, the weed up, you were valuable. You devalued everything you did that day. Everything. And not only with me. And you know that. Because the reality has been served to you harsher than anybody else who, who, who fucked up in this situation. Terry shot me, but you got the biggest wake up call. When he left SOB, what happened? You were shunned. Because what did you do once again? You stayed in Terry's shadow and you made a decision for Terry and not yourself. You're delusional. And I nearly died for your delusion. Not wrong. Thing that's coming out your mouth right now. I became a former shadow of my actual self. Man, I gotta live with it. It's just how it is. You know, I truly expected, right? To come out of the ICU and have some form of text or you looking for a conversation to rectify what happened or even just to find out if I was still fucking alive, to be honest. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And all this shit you're saying is very well and good, but it's too fucking late. I can't re remember how many times I told you and how many times everybody told you that you was fucking yourself over being how you was. Yeah. I got told off you. I got told off Steve. I got told off Eli. But I turned a blind eye to it all to the point where I was so lost that I lost, that I left everything behind. I lost everything. I lost the relationship with you. I lost the relationship with the manor. I lost the relationship with a good friend that I went into business with and started a whole empire that we were flourishing. The business was good. It was, it was very good. And I gave it all up. I gave it all up. You did. The truth is, right? This could have been the other way around. Whichever one of you was to rectify your mistakes first. Would have been entertained with a conversation. You just, just didn't do it.
It doesn't really matter to me if you know those things were wrong now. But I think it's fair to say we're both past that point. And you can sit here and plead your case with me right now. If I'm keeping it real with you, Dre, the person you need to plead your case to right now is to your left. Before I do that, you say that I am pleading my case. All I got to say is what I did is unforgettable and unforgivable. And I know that what I did, not just to you, but manner as a whole, my own pops, everybody. I let everybody down. But the worst person that I had to let down in this whole situation wasn't you, wasn't Steve, wasn't Terry. It was myself. Mm. And I got to live with that. But like I said, I'm sorry for what happened. You don't ever have to forgive me. At least I can know that I got peace in my heart that I said that. Ride or die as you two were, right? I guess you better talk and work out whether you're riding or whether you're dying. Shit. Listen, Terry. Said the SK a long time ago. When you first got kicked out of the manor. I remember it like it was tomorrow. I said to you. I said to him, actually. If it was ever in my power to lose my position in the manner you can flourish and get into that position I'm happy to take all the responsibilities and the consequences so like I said to you in the car and I'll say in front of SK what you're doing is the right thing making amends with everybody and being with the ones that you know they will ride or die for you I'll always be there for you Terry nothing ever gonna change that I love you, brother. And I always do anything for you. I've given up a lot of things, bro. My business, my gang, own fucking life for everything. Do my day one, brother. We go way back. Back in the day that I met you at Playa Vista back in Seaside. And we hit it off. We've always been close friends. And nothing will ever change that, bro. But I think that what I did he is not making no it easy for Tess, is he? I did things on the ground. I see that now. I fucked up. You did everything above ground. You were true to everybody, true to yourself. But I was not true to myself. That's the problem. But just know that you and Kylie will always be the closest things ever to me. Doesn't matter how deep it goes. Doesn't matter how shit, how much shit we go through. I'll always be there for you. And your wife. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh... As hard as this is, Dre. We've done everything together. He did everything for me. I feel like I've got no choice in what I have to do today. And like you said, 
I will always love you too. You was always my ride or die. But the way our shit's planned out, the way how I handled things and the way how you handled things was just different. You made your bed and you made it to a point where you couldn't come back from. And no matter what happens, I will always love you. You'll always be my day one. But I've got to do this for me. Mm. And what's best for me, Dre? Mm. Understood. Come to peace with it now. I know what's going through your mind. Because let's be honest. James, thank you for the 22, bro. It's either you or me. I could be the one standing here with a gun. Pointing it at you. And instead, it's you pointing the gun at me. I'll always be your friend, Terry. I'll always be there for you. But I understand what you got to do. And I'm sorry, brother, that you got to go through this. And I'm sorry that you got to do what you got to do right now. Please do not urinate in the station. Thank you. But like I said, don't worry about me no more. Worry about yourself. Worry about the things that drive you every day to be able to become the man that you used to be get into the position where you want to be. You never wanted to leave the fucking manor. Neither did I. It was a shit situation where we got put in. Ah, then we went to another game, but we always knew that the home was going to be down there. Shit was never the same when we moved. I could see it in your eyes. You always wanted to go back there. And this is your chance. We always knew it would come down to something like this deep down. Both of us wanting to go, go back home and be with the people we love, but it was never going to work for the both of us. And I think we knew that. And I think we knew it would come down to this. And I love you. I always will. I love you too, but, brother. Well, this is an end of an era. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Put the uh, gun you just shot him with on him. I'll give you uh, I'll give you his one after. Now listen, I'm gonna tell you one thing, Terry. All right. You showed me what I needed to see. The next time there's any sort of fuck up, it's not gonna be a kicked. It's gonna be you laying on your back. Alright. Yeah. <laughs>